a lawmaker and a close ally of Vice President Sara Duterte has called for unity among the members of the United Alliance. MJ Mondehar has the rest of the story. In an interview, House Speaker Martin Romualdez expressed hope for improved relations with Vice President Sara Duterte. This comes after the House of Representatives removed confidential and intelligence funds requests from agencies under VP Sara's purview, such as the DEPED and the Office of the Vice President. As they always say, um, uh, you know, there will always be differences, but we will always work towards resolving those differences for the service of the people. That is our primordial concern. This development is welcomed by one of VP Sara's close allies in Congress. In a privileged speech, Dava Occidental Representative Claude Bautista stated that the House Speaker's statements are a welcome development. The political noise has shifting their confidence to doubt whether our leaders are still working together as one. The hearts of millions of Filipinos have been bleeding as they sense the air of animosity taking over our unity. Until yesterday, when the country's anxiety was pacified by the assurance that differences with the Vice President would be resolved for the sake of the nation. Romualdez and Bautista campaigned together for VP Sara in the recent election. They emphasized the unity's mission, carrying the message of unity to the Filipino people. Our victory as the unity team was a testament to the Filipino people's belief that we could deliver on our promise of unity and build on the progress made by the previous administrations, which was derailed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Bautista is calling for unity among the leadership of the House, urging them not to succumb to emotions and to avoid the division of the nation. He stressed the continuation of unity's collaboration between VP Sara and President VBM, both in the Senate and the House. I am not here to join the army of provocators to rile up emotions, to sow intrigues, to fracture the administration, to divide the nation. I am not here to dampen our hope and the hope of the nation for our leaders to once again work together harmoniously and efficiently. It is truly heartening to know that the leaders of the land are demonstrating exceptional mindfulness of the urgency to bring our people together down to the path that leads to the fulfillment of our shared objectives for the country. Since the issue of the OVP and debit confidential funds have made it to the headlines, it is noting that Congressman Claude Bautista was the first and the lone lawmaker who said his support to VP Sato Duterte and in the end to the leadership of Speaker Martin Romualdez. Forget about the Philippines, MJ Mondihar, SMNI News.